Hello everyone, my name is Dalal and you are watching Popcorn and Soda, the show where we discuss all things movies, pop culture, and so much more. Pool Man, the second movie in our TIFF series of films that I watched at the Toronto International Film Festival this year. Movies I liked, movies I didn't like, and movies that I definitely think you should go check out. Pool Man. Where do I begin? <laughs> Pool Man, hey, directed by one of my favorite actors, Chris Pine, who I thoroughly believe in my heart is one of the most underrated actors in all of Hollywood. But to lol, he gets all the big blockbusters. He's in Star Trek. He did Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But I think he doesn't get his flowers as much because I think he's so versatile and he's such a great actor and a uh, big fan of Chris Pine. Now, that's Chris Pine, the actor. What do I think of Pool Man? with Chris Pine, the director, and the lead. This movie was not for me. It just was not for me. I watched it at one of our press and industry screenings at TIFF, and it didn't click with me. And, and I have to be honest, it was just one of those movies where I just couldn't get going with it. I couldn't. One thing I noticed a lot at TIFF this year is there was a lot of first-time directors who are actors, and uh, vice versa. and. This movie, I think Chris's heart was in the right place because from everything I've read is this is a love letter to LA from Chris, a place where, you know, he grew up and it, it just didn't click for me. And this was a movie that I just found, I don't want to say boring because I don't want to disrespect Chris Pine's work and all the crew and the cast that worked on this film. It just couldn't click with me. And I don't know if it was just the character that Chris Pine is playing who happens to be this you know, kooky pool man who keeps writing to the city councilors about things that they can do better in LA. And, you know, he thinks there's a conspiracy going on. Yeah, it wasn't for me. And I, a lot of, you know, right after the screening ended, there was so much Twitter uproar that, hey, half the theater walked out during the movie. Yes, there were people that walked out of this movie. And, um, I think that was a shame because I think that the movie does get better as it goes along. But for someone like myself, this movie was just not for me. And that's not to say that I don't think Chris Pine has a future as a director because I think he does. I think there was a lot of really cool shots in the film. But it was just... It, it didn't click for me. And and I, I thought it was just like, okay, is it going to get better now? Is it going to get better now? Great cast. Chris Pine, Annette Benning, Danny DeVito. But... <laughs> I just think that the tone was all over the place. It didn't know what the movie wanted to be. And I just think that, you know, I give all the respect in the world to Chris Pine for actually trying and attempting to make a movie as a director, because that is a very hard feat and big respects to you, Chris Pine. And I, I think I, it, the future for you as a director, if you're listening to this, Chris Pine, which, yeah, of course we know he is. Uh, I, I think you should definitely keep going. And I definitely think that you'd definitely be able to do another movie where I think that you would learn from a lot of the things that you did in the first movie, like any great director and any great creative does. And this movie just wasn't for me. So who do I think this movie is for? I think this is a movie for Chris Pine fans who are like, unapologetically Chris Pine and who like a great cast with great acting but this is a prime example of when you have great acting and you don't have a story it doesn't mesh and that's what happened in Pool Man so overall you guys know how I rate my movies do I watch this in a theater is it a good streaming movie or is it for a rainy day and I think this movie is a good rainy day movie you are just kind of flipping through the channels or you don't know what when to watch and you turn this on this could be for you, and as I always mention, art is in the eye of the beholder. So something I didn't like, you may love, and something that you loved, I may not like. So make the decision for yourself in regards to if you think that The Pool Man is a movie you want to watch. Because hey, maybe you might absolutely love it, and if you do, much respects to you. I hope that happens. I hope all of you that watch this enjoy this movie. So overall, what did you guys think of Pool Man? Comment below and please do let me know because I love hearing your guys' thoughts. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for making me a small part of your day and watching my review of The Pool Man.